and share this particular screen right here. All right, guys. Uh, so what do we have right there is basically your class. So starting, I mean, my uh, student preview mode. So here's the announcement. I talk about the general ideas behind the test already, but uh, there is a few things which you need to keep in mind. First of all, responders. Is everybody uh, everybody familiar with responders? What it is and, and the, what to do with it and so on and so forth. Responders is the way that the class as uh, our college trying to eliminate uh, no if you are don't know yeah that that's all right that's no problem but we will be using this particular responders thing for the every single test including the lecture tests and the lab practicals so make sure that you will familiarize yourself with the responders and here uh, in the announcement and the test review you have a quick instructions on how to do it. But number one, well, after you're watching the video, number one is you have to download. Download what? A special browser known as the Responders Lockdown Browser. The icon looks like, like this. This is a lockdown. So let's say if you decide to use the Microsoft Edge, and please don't don't use it at all. It's it's really bad for Blackboard. I'm not against Microsoft. I'm using Windows as you as you might see. But in this particular case, Microsoft Edge uh, usually are fairly glitchy with the Blackboard. or Blackboard glitchy with the Microsoft Edge. Uh, why I brought the Microsoft student during this summer? She's like, I have a pro problem. The lockdown browser asking me for a password. I'm like, there is no password. She's like, no, it's asking me for the password. I'm like, are you in a lockdown browser? She's like, yes. Are you, uh, it's asking me for a password. I'm like, it shouldn't ask you for the password because there is none. If you are in this class, you should be able to go into a lockdown browser and the test will be available to you pretty much right away. And she's like, but it's asking me for a password. So my emails back and forth, back and forth. She's freaking out. I'm like, okay, uh, take a print screen of your uh, of your whatever uh, whatever the laptop or uh, desktop you have, and send it to me. I'll take a look what kind of what kind of issue it is. And she's taking the print screen. I'm like, you in Microsoft Edge? She's like, yes. I'm like, you're supposed to be in a specialized lockdown browser and in order to download this you need to go and follow the instructions which i posted uh, uh posted right here so let's click and depending if you have mac or uh, uh windows pc you will be able to do it and i think right now it's actually uh supporting chromebooks before it had the issue with supporting like before we're talking about a year ago uh had the issue with the uh supporting the chromebooks and i know that many of the high schoolers using uh using the chromebooks i think right now it is supporting the chromebook all right uh and then all you need to do is basically after you'll start it start the lockdown browser you're pretty much logging in into a blackboard it's like a regular browser you're just logging in into a blackboard and you're finding the test and you're starting the test it will ask you to take the picture uh, with your uh with your camera but don't do it like this it's it's really really it, i cannot see anything pretty much if you if you're doing really quickly that's kind of take around very nicely it helps you later on if for one or another reason and I decided that you're trying to cheat. Uh, it will help you later on to build up your case. So it will help me to build up my, my case. I'm not saying that you will be cheating, but I had a, a couple of ifish uh, if scenarios last summer. And the student looked like she was cheating, but actually uh, she was looking uh, she was kind of looking down but this is how her setup was she was sitting on a high chair and she was looking down into uh, on her laptop 
So it's not only for me, but also for yourself. And what I did for you guys, I created something which is known as a uh, test review. If you go into, well, first of all, test review, right? Uh, but where you can find it, course content, lecture, and here we have it. Uh, if you will be okay with it, I can create those test reviews for every single test. Just give me the feedback. Do you really like it? You don't like it. You hate it, but you finding it useful. I need some sort of feedback later on at some point of time. All right. So in this particular case, what you will do, you'll go in the test review and you can see test review required the webcam, respondus, lockdown browser, etc. This is for you to practice how to start the lockdown browser. Does it give you any kind of issues or anything like that? If you have any issues, and if, if, if you have any kind of problems with that, most likely you will have a similar problem with the actual test. So make sure to practice, okay? After the first one, I can make the test review not being through the responders. Uh, but now, test review, what it is, it says multiple choice, right? MC, multiple choice. Uh, basically, I created something which is known as a uh, question bank. Question bank for that particular unit, unit one, consists of four, almost 500 questions. I will be going over a little bit more, but at this particular point, it's like 483, 86, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Well, let's say 500, uh, 500 questions. Those particular 500 questions, uh, this is a, a question mm -hmm. bank. That test review is pulling out from the same question bank as I, I will be uh, creating the actual test from. Make sense? Yes, so it, you might see exactly the same question, but again, chances are uh, I have 500 questions uh, on in the pool, so to speak, of questions, and the each multiple choice practice is 25 questions. You might or might not see the same questions. I don't know with the same answers. Uh, so it's it it will be coming out. How many questions on the exam? Uh, that's a great question. I'm getting there uh, momentarily on how exactly the overall structure of all of our, our tests will be. So in this particular case, in this particular case, I would highly recommend you to do those practice uh, practice ones. And yes, I know they're not for the grade. Uh, maybe I'll add one or two points. I don't know. I need to talk to my uh, department head regarding that. But in this particular case, it's not counting against you. You can take as many times as you want to. You can, uh, it will show you at the end all of the correct answers, and then you will see which one you're getting incorrectly. And also you will get used to, um, to the type of multiple questions because different publishers asking slightly different questions. So I found it kind of helpful for my, uh, for at least some of my students. But again, that's extra work for me. And I don't really like to do extra work. But if you think that it's good for you, I will keep doing it. Test review number two, three, four, and uh, hopefully final. Now, how many questions on the test? I'm trying to keep the, well, first of all, the test, uh, test one, two, and three, as well as four, will be a combination of multiple choice and short answers. By the short answers, I'm talking about brief questions, and I already addressed which ones they will be, the evolution, the species, the examples of each, uh, process of evolution, identify it, tell me what it is, give me the sound the examples, uh, species, biological species, what it is, uh, my favorite reactions, cell respiration and photosynthesis, the importance of any group we covered. So what is the importance, not only for the humans, but for the whole entire world, for the environment, for nature, of bacteria, protists, fungi, um, any of those particular questions. And of course, uh, your favorite, the equilibrium thing. Uh, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So in 
in this particular case, you will have about 60, 70 questions of multiple choices or multiple guesses. And about four to five questions, short answers. And usually I will add a couple of questions for bonus questions. Bonus questions are all, are all short answers. I, I don't really need for you to write down pages and pages of stuff. But if you uh, give me the definition of evolution, for example, define biological evolution, the process of changing of genetic, uh, genetic frequencies from generation to generation. Short, nice, quick, okay? So that's basically what I will be looking for. You might want to expand it a little bit if you think that your answer is not Yes, about 60, uh, somewhere between 60 to 80 questions for the multiple choices and about five or so multiple uh, short answers. Why am I giving you 60 to 70 questions? Because final will be 100 multiple choice questions. All right. So in this particular case, 60, 70 questions gives you a little bit, well, kind of get you into a groove of, uh, and I think it's, it's okay to finish that within an hour and a half while you have 95 minutes, technically speaking. So it's not a very hard test. I am, I'm not trying to make it as hard, uh, impossible to pass or anything like that. But remember, each question is one point. So you'll have, let's say 70 points coming from your multiple choice. And then students, some students not answering short answers whatsoever. They're leaving it blank. And technically speaking, it's one of my favorite uh, tests because multiple cho choices will be graded automatically. The short answers I have to go and grade, read, and figure out how many points do I assign. Let's say if there is a five points per question, then I can assign all five of the uh, question, well, if they answer everything what for, or I can give you a partial credit. I do give a partial credit, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four points, depending on the uh, well, depth mm -hmm. of the answer, so to speak. Again, whenever you're leaving blank, it's automatically zero. If you write, Writing something and not literally something. I had students before that with a smiley face. I'm like, eh, yeah. But I had students literally writing the, the day that they're like, well, I still don't believe in evolution. And here's what I think actually happened. And then the student goes into what, uh, how he or she was thinking the, all of those the diversity and all of those creatures which we see right now are arriving, mm -hmm. uh, arrived on this particular planet and continue to uh, change. I'm fine with that. I'm not stuck on, on the single, if you didn't answer, that's it. No, I can give you at least a partial credit. It's not the biological evolution, but that's your system of beliefs and I can respect that. Yeah. I had students writing uh, biological jokes. And I, I will not give you the full, full, uh, full grade for the bio joke, but one or two points, yes, especially if it's kind of new. And please keep it appropriate. Please, please, please. I had students before where I kind of on a, on a very thin line of being almost inappropriate. So let's keep it civil, all right? Uh, so that's basically it. So please answer the short answers. That's that's one of the very important part. And of course, you will please answer the short answers. Well, in a lot practical, it's not really a short answers. It will be just like a couple of terms. So be careful with that. So in this particular case, uh, lab practicals will be, you'll see the picture. And I'll talk a little bit more about the lab practical on uh, Tuesday afternoon after the test. There's some, somebody's on, somebody has the mic on. So if you have a mic on, just, yeah, let's, yeah, let me mute the person right there. So yes, so in this particular case,
case, if you have, if you run into any kind of problems, right? You are taking the test and the internet quit on you. Happens occasionally. Don't make it every time the internet is uh, quitting on you. But uh, if the internet uh, uh, quit on you, take a picture, pull out the cell phone, take a pic picture of your screen, which saying that the blah, blah is no longer available or what have you. And then send the email to me as soon as possible. Don't freak out. Don't, 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 don't wait for a very uh, last moment. Uh, just, hey, I have an issue. And okay, well, what kind of issue? Well, this is what happened. All right. Well, do you have anything which backing up your statement? Yes. Here's the green screen of whatever. If you think that some sort of questions are not entirely good questions, I mean, they were tricky. I'm reading through all of those 400 questions. Try not to keep them as tricky as possible. But, but I can overlook. And if you don't like a question, or like a last book, we, we switched to the new book. You are the first uh, semester on a new book, but uh, with the last book, quite often the publisher would do something very strange. It will ask the question, the question would refer to some sort of figure or picture, and it will not post the figure or picture. I don't know why it was a bug, uh, well known bug and uh, usually a test uh, each test will contain one or two of those particular questions and students like ah there is no question there is no picture i couldn't answer i'm like okay take a picture send it to me and i'm trying to be a reasonable person i cannot punish you for the question you don't uh, have the uh, ability to answer and if that particular thing was that particular book, well, I'll assign the points later on. Uh, arbitrarily, all of the students will get one to how many points needed. All right. If, if I'll think that if I'll deem that you'll say, well, this question was bad because blah, blah, and blah. And I look and I'll see the logic and I'm like, okay, fine. Yeah, let's do that. Let's change it. And uh, I will eliminate the question from the test bank, but I also will uh, uh, assign the points to everybody, not only you, everybody. So speak up. I need that particular communication. Communication in the online environment is extremely important. In the face-to-face -face class, whenever you're taking, you can always raise a hand. I'll come and like, oh, yeah, let's, here's the answer on the board. Uh, but in the online class, it's kind of hard, right? So keep that in mind, communication is the key. And if you are doing just fine, there is no problems, no nothing. You don't really have to email to me, but you can say, yeah, I took the test. Everything seems to be okay. All right, All right. any questions, any problems on any other things regarding the test number one. Where you can find, you can find it, well, whenever it will be available, uh, course content, you're clicking on the lecture and somewhere right here on the test number one, you're clicking on it. And again, remember, lockdown browser. Right, right. All right, so that's pretty much all I have to say regarding the lecture test, except one thing on connect folder, it has those particular SB smart book activities. Smart book activities, uh, if you'll click it, it will take you to the connect. They not for the grade, but they are really good reviews. That's why I'm keeping them for every single unit. Smart book reviews, and I saw that some of you are already doing it. Some of you are getting for the uh, for the test review, but this is a good review at the end of the unit kind of refresh your memory evidence of evolution genes within the population and so on and so forth virtual labs are for the grade yes the sbs are not for the grade the day 
photographs, the chapter, and the virtual labs, they all for the grade. So assessment, data graphs, if you have them, and the, let me see, where is that? The labs, they all is a part part of your uh, part of your grade right there yes those one now regarding the pdfs whenever you're saving the pdf uh, the, the question was that the pdfs are too big whenever you have the, let's say let me go with the bacteria guy right whenever you have have file and save as whenever you're saving it you can uh, choose the file reduce file uh, file size if you reduce the file size it will create a much smaller a uh, much smaller uh, file less details but much smaller all right make sense so that would be one of those particular ways how, and that's one of the beauty of the PDFs, it can uh, create, it's a portable document format. So it, it will have the uh, options to save with as much smaller file. I generally do not go to the links. And if I remember correctly for Microsoft Office, 10 megs is the, of file uh tank is the file after that it will say it's too large uh it doesn't okay well the the uh, the, the state was from a student after a smart book is graded it will not let you do it again shoot me a quick email i'll try oh, hold on let me write it down as b number of tries i'll see uh tries uh i'll see if i will be able to go into the connect and change it and uh, uh i think connect allows me to change it on the wing but again i'll i'll double check on that okay yes so virtual labs for the grades as bs or not any other questions regarding anything else test related to anything let me double check the chat box yeah all right no so uh, let me kind of stop right here i'll